behalf of my wife and I. We would like to thank you all for coming all the way up to Northumberland and for celebrating our special day with us. It means so much that you're all here together, especially after the last 18 months. You've all travelled a long way, and for that we can't thank you enough. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management and staff here at Woodhill Hall and Northumberland Registration Service, I'd like to welcome you here to witness and celebrate the marriage of Hayden and Annie. I'm sure you will all agree that Hayden and Annie have chosen some spectacular surroundings to be married in today. And we all hope you enjoy your day here at Woodhill Hall. I'm certain you'll all be able to take away with you some lovely memories you can share with them later in their future lives together as husband and wife. Annabelle Jane Nixon, from this day forward, I promise to share my life with you, to be faithful to you, to act with you, and be there for you when you need me the most. I promise that I'll never keep score, because not everything is a competition. <laughs> but if it was, I would win. <laughs> I promise to be proud of you, to never take you for granted, and to always take care of you, including getting rid of all the spiders. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. Hayden Alexander Richards, from this day forward, I promise to share my life with you, and always be your biggest supporter. I promise to laugh with you, to be proud of you, to respect you, and above all else, make you smile every day. I promise to be patient with you, to be faithful to you, to never take you for granted, and to be your best friend. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. Hayden and Annie, you have now both made the declarations required by law, and you have made solemn and binding promises to each other. I ask all of your family and friends here today, having witnessed this marriage ceremony, and your commitment to join with Suzanne and I in wishing you joy and success in your future lives together. It therefore gives me great pleasure to say you are now united as husband and wife. I think you know what to do next, sir. fish. Essentially, this. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that first impression has brought us here today, but I'm very grateful it did. I know it's a real cliche that you should marry your best friend, but honestly, those words couldn't be more true for Annie and me. Every day, I look forward to spending more and more time with her. And whether it's during the ups or the downs, you make everything in life so much better. Annie, you also have the patience of an absolute saint. I know I'm not the easiest person to deal with sometimes, whether that's listening to my terrible music, when I have to work late quite a lot, when I leave most of my clothes dotted around the house again quite a lot, or thinking I can do DIY projects even though I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. You support me, you trust me, and you pick me up when things are tough. And I love you so much for that. But it's not just me you support. You would do anything for your friends and family. You really are the kindest and most genuine person that I've ever met. And on top of all of that, as if that's not enough, you're so beautiful, and today is no exception. You really look incredible. Honestly, I'm the luckiest person alive to be studying with. Yeah. the luckiest person alive to be 
stood here next to you. So on that note, oh, anyway. So on that note, please can you all raise your glass to my new bride, to Annie. Thank you.